absolute steal in my mind. He's a top five player in this draft class. There are no holes in this young man's game and he's got a whole lot of compete. He plays a North America style of game. He played for Valerie Brock and the head coach uh, for the Russian World Junior Team who never, never relies on young players in big moments. He did that all throughout the World Juniors. He played in the penalty kill, played in the final middle period, defensive zone draws. We're excited to get him. He's strong on the puck. He takes pucks to the net. Vasily says that he can do, do whatever he's been, he will be asked for to do, uh, like be a power forward, playmaking guy, and uh, he can score goals as well. If I'm a general manager, I'm taking this guy with the third overall pick. But there were four marks against them, which is why he slid to Vancouver at number 10. The first was whenever he played in league, whether it was the MHL, the junior version of the KHL, or the VHL, which is the American League version, or the KHL, he didn't put up very good numbers. The next thing is he's got contractual status that will keep him in Russia for at least two more years, yet he's a guy who probably wasn't going to play next year anyways, and after year one you never know what's mm -hmm. going right. to happen. Some people are concerned about his skating ability, and the last thing and the last impression was he was good, but he wasn't great at the under-18 Worlds. But if you take the entire body of work for this player, going back to last August at the Holinka Gretzky Cup, he had 11 points tied for the tournament lead, he scored a goal in every game, he had a hat-trick in the bronze medal game. But Colson works his way in. Makes a ring line for Goodick. Goodick back across, but Colson scores! And off the rebound, score! Fired home by guess who? The silly punt Colson. Another power play goal. He gets that pass and he gets pointed right to the net. And Malay has no chance. I mean, this. One of the five on three, four of the five on four. But Colton has scored twice the game, comes busting in, moves in, and scores! What a goal by the silly Puck Colson! Then he gets invited to the World Junior A Challenge. He plays extremely well for Russia there, ties for the tournament lead with Bobby Brink for eight points there. He played so well there that he got invited to the World Junior Camp when really he wasn't on their radar. So he goes to the World Juniors, yes the points, three assists in seven games, not great. But what told me a lot about this player was the fact that Valerie Bragan, the head coach in, the, in, in Russia, doesn't really lean on his young players very much. Mm -hmm. By the end of the tournament, this guy was playing in all the meaningful situations, all the high leverage minutes, and that told me a big story about what this guy is going to be. From the time we saw him at the under 18s in April, to when he went to the Combine in June, he'd already grown. His mitts are massive. They're like the size of this paper right here. <laughs> he's smart. He's extremely competitive. And one really cool thing I like about this guy, you go to the World Juniors, disappointing after their tournament ends and they don't get a chance to, to play for a gold medal. They ended up playing for bronze. Well, he is the guy who steps up to their PR department and says, you know what, I'll go out and answer the question, guys. Don't worry about me. Wow. Leadership at that age. determination, desire to make a difference in the game. He just decides he's going to take matters into his own hands. And here he comes right at you, right at the Swedish defenders. And 
the quick move inside, and he stays right with it as he's going to the ice, and NFL takes the worst of it. But the way he keeps the puck free in his hands, that awareness. What a terrific goal. Rosa. Так вот, в первом матче Витязи выиграли, а во втором проиграли. Бросок, гол! СК-19-46. Благодаря мощному броску под Колзина. Никита Лысенкова. Под Колзин. Ну что, под Колзин хорошо, как на скорости. Под Колзин входит. Абы гол! Но это в топ-10 лучших голов молодежной хоккейной лиги. Под Колзин, под Колзин, 1-1, 1-1, уважаемые друзья, Василий Под Колзин оформляет свою, может быть, четвертую, а, прошу прощения, третью шайбу в молодежной хоккейной лиге. Там уже и э, защитники на Глущенко насели, а сейчас момент у ворот крыльев, Давади! Хоккеист СК выходят вперед снова в этом матче. И это Василий Подколзин. Один ноль впереди Динамо. Морозов Иван на вбрасывании. Вот он с шайбой. Подколзин. Ну, Подколзин, видите, он в полной маске играет. Опять-таки, потому что он 2001 года. Еще бросок! Это гол! Вот так! С очень острого угла Подколзин. Ильичук вступает в игру, а бросал Евгений Миксна. Подколзин! Какая скорость у Василия Подколзин! Классно! Бросок! Гол! Гол! Вот это да! Вот это да! Василий Подколзин! 5-2, друзья, вот такой счет. Такой счет. Но он заслужил. Все, Новокузнец спать пошел. Но уже после четвертой шайбы некоторые обещали. Ну, может, да. что во втором периоде новый вратарь начнет играть. Да, может быть, похоже на то. Хотя к Синягину какие вопросы? Ну просто сегодня давали бросать. До ворот добросить. Здесь Игерчук, ну, наверное, уже пора меняться. Нет. Хорошая Под... передача была на Подколзина. А вот от Подколзина... Гол! Гол! Василий Подколзин! Ну, немножко зазевались, да, тут гости, получается? Terms, if he takes the puck and he gets it into your hands as a defender, and now you're trying to find the puck where you're in an awkward position, and he knows how to open you up. Подколзин drives in, scores! The captain, Podkolzin, his first goal of the tournament, and they're waving it off. Goaltender interference. Into the box, never mind, the goal waved off. Wow. What a... What a terrible call this is. This is an unbelievably terrible call. There's, there, there is no way that this is no goal. That, this is a terrible, brutal call by the officials here. Terrible. There is no way that goal should be disallowed. And Vladimir Filatov is exactly right. There is no way that can be disallowed. They can talk about it. Well, I think I, they're going to they're gonna review it, which is, yeah, they better, because there's only one call here, and that's good goal. That's the only call that can be made here, good goal. If they disallow this goal and give him a penalty, this is the brutal call. That's a great play by Pod Colson. You know, the, you ask your top players to step up at critical times. That's exactly what Pod Colson did. That was a great drive from Vasily Pod Colson. That would be his first goal of the tournament. Yeah, and they got it exactly right. And 
That is a great opportunity to go and review it and to understand that, hey, wait a sec, let's talk about it, let's get it right. They got it exactly right. There is no dispute here. Good on the entire operation here. That's the way it should be done. Outstanding. And now, Magnus Ablett having a conversation. So a delayed celebration. If you saw Buck Colson come out of the box, skate to his teammates, I mean, they're still celebrating on the bench. And the relief, too, of that young man to finally get one in this tournament. His first goal in the gold medal game, pulling Russia with it one. You bet he's fired up.